they seem to have several things in common. One is that they have a set of administrators who understand that standardized tests, on the one hand, aren't evil, but on the other hand, they have to be used appropriately, which means you ignore them. You, it's, it's like a blood pressure cuff. You, 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 I, I can tell you what your blood pressure is, but the cuff isn't going to tell you why it's what it is. It's not going to tell you that you're eating poorly or anything along those lines. It tells you, it gives you a sense of where things are right now. Um, a standardized test can do that just fine. And so the number one thing they do is they allow the test to kind of fade into the background and, and function as that blood pressure cuff for a lot of the larger decisions that they make. I think the second thing that you often see in these kinds of schools um, is this a real commitment to uh, making sure that uh, there's a connection between the kids and the teachers. There is a level of engagement that seems to exist that uh, can't be measured on any kind of test instrument. And then when it does come to uh, uh, a lot of the, the more uh, formal assessment practices, they, they model, oh, I would guess I would use the conversational model. It's almost as if uh, if you were going to sit down with each of your 30 students and have a conversation so that you understood what they had learned and whether they had learned sufficiently what you taught, uh, that would take a long time. Uh, but if you could mimic that through a paper and pencil test or an online test or something, uh, that's actually a good thing. Uh, and so the kinds of exams that tend to be given a huge amount of credence are those that mimic that conversational mode. Now again, that means that they aren't as statistically um, uh, rigorous as a standardized test. But you're asking questions that don't really require that level of statistical rigor. So uh, I, I, I think it's, it's, um, it's doable, it's possible, but it takes school administrators really stepping up to the plate and, and being willing to try something uh, that's going to feel a little bit odd to them, especially in the test-based culture in which we're in.